Hey everybody, Fox Rose here, and welcome back to the OG Beyblade series! Episode 2! Where we're going to actually start the tournament! Yes, we're going with Dragoon S. First battle is between us and Blader A. There's Bladers A, B, and C. Blader A is the balanced one of the group, Blader C is more power, and Blader B is more defense. At least that's what I've noticed. Three, two, one. Let it rip! So one thing I did off-screen was I played a few rounds on a personal file, just to familiar myself with it once again. And if you hit the enemy while hitting the X button, then the LP meter will sometimes increase. And once you hit 25 LP, you can hit the square button and use your special move. Pretty important if you want to actually get far in the game. Are you serious? Well, this is embarrassing for a start. I, uh. I was literally just playing this on my own file again, where I reset the, the game because I wanted to get familiar with the controls. Literally just won a tournament! But I'm now realizing I was a different bay. I wasn't using Dragoon S and that, I was using Dronzer or S. I feel dumb. <laughs> but, regardless, we're gonna keep at it until we know we can win. And we already read all this. Yep, same blader as before. Um, bladers A, B, and C will always be in the first three rounds, and then the latter four rounds are any of the playable characters. That much I know for certain. Like, you won't be fighting Ray in round one. What a great launch! What a great launch! How do you like it, bitch? Yeah, yeah, bring it on, bring it on. Three, two, one, let it rip! Yes, the audio just did skip, if anyone's curious what the frick happened there. The game did that on its own. Fridge. Bladers A, B, and C don't use their Bit Beast moves at any point in the game. So if you're a new player, don't worry, they don't use them. They have them, as all these bays have Bit Chips. But they just don't use them. And here's Kid Dragoon's special move. While it's harder to do in this game, you can make a crash out happen, like in V-Force. Or, as we would call it in the modern day, a burst finish. Alright! They don't have multiple stadiums in this game, so you don't need to worry about the stadium suddenly changing on you. Now, this is just a choice I'm making. You don't have to play like this, but... I personally don't repair my bay unless it loses at least 10 health. 
because the drawbacks tend to be a huge pain in battle, especially if you're up against a tough opponent. So, my advice, wait until at least 10 HP from your Bay's normal HP count is gone. You can get it back when you need it, but just keep that in mind. We started at 175, so I'm not worried. Blader B. I don't know what Blader A uses in real life, but Blader B, I believe, uses the Sizo model. How do I know what that is? Because I had Sizo for the longest time, and I really enjoyed using it. It wasn't amazing, but I enjoyed using it. Three, two, one. Let it rip! What a great launch. What a great launch. Come on, Kid Dragoon! You've got this, little buddy! <laughs> yeah, now you see my HP is at 161. We will definitely be healing in the next match. If we get that far. Three, two, one! Let it rip! Let's put a little extra spin on that one, why don't we? Pardon me, bitch. P pardon me. P -p 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 pardon me. Yes, I am doing the pop on purpose. Just wanted to see if that would, if it would actually work on my microphone or not. Did everyone just see that? That was stupidly easy. If that happened in round two, we would have been done by now. We would have been fighting Blader C by now, and we would have won. Just a second. Here's the winner. The battles are getting intense. Let's start the next battle. Please wait for the players to appear. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna heal this time. See what I'm saying? Endurance power is just your stamina power. And after playing against a good chunk of the guys that I was just playing against, there's only one other blader that uses a bay that has mode changes, and that's Kai with Dronzer F. So there's that. Three, two, one, let it rip! I'm going to crush this dude. Shite! Here we go! Two, one, let it rip! What a great dawn! What a great dawn! Also, does anyone else like how compressed the DJ's voice is in this? Because it's kind of stupid. Just how compressed his voice actually is. Trying, guys. I'm trying. Yes, yes, I do. Best way to do that is get a weight disc, which is what we're going to go and do before the episode actually ends. We're gonna go and get a new weight disc, and you guys can see the difference in power.
Hmm. Do I have a coin on hand? Or something coin like? Um. I mean, that'll work. Okay, I've got a Nintendo Switch uh, game case holder thing. Not an actual game case, it's one of the ones for just the cartridges where you can put four of them in at once. Um, heads we get eight heavy, tails we get eight balance. We're gonna get both at some point regardless, but for now, here we go. Eight heavy. Now to show you all how much of a difference it is. You see those points? Mobility has gone down, but that's a good thing in this case. Less crazy movement, more controlled power. Um, I think that's how we're gonna end this episode today, guys. And I don't think I showed this on screen yet, uh, the last time, so here's how you save. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you liked the video, hit that like button, comment in the comment section with all your tips, tricks, and all that shite. Subscribe if you're new, favorite the video if you want, but who the hell favorites videos these days? Next time on the channel, we will be jumping in to the tournament once again. This time, with a little more control. This is Fox Rose, and I'm telling you all, let it rip!